Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I am pretty glammed up. I was actually taking some professional photos so those will be out on my Instagram very soon. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram. I will include it on the screen here. But if this is your first time seeing my face, hello and welcome. My name is Monica. I post videos all about the stimulus check, the stimulus package, personal finance, world news, you're gonna find it here on this channel. Be sure to comment, subscribe, let me know that you are a new subscriber so that we can all welcome you to the family. Be sure to like this video if you are excited that we are getting another round of stimulus checks, at least that's what's included in this proposal. So fingers crossed. Also turn on your post notifications. Without further ado, let's hop right into your Wednesday, September 16th stimulus check and stimulus package update video. So before we hop into this, I really want to shout out all of the Virgos, all of these September babies. My birthday is actually on Monday and I'm so excited to just celebrate another year. So the Problem Solvers Caucus, which is a group of 50 Republican and Democratic law lawmakers has officially unveiled the March to Common Ground proposal for a coronavirus aid package and the good news is we do see a second stimulus check in this proposal. So it looks like negotiations are underway. We do see some budging. Democratic negotiators Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have said they are willing to drop the 3.4 trillion dollar budget set out in the HEROES Act while Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has revealed that the White House may be prepared to accept the $1.5 trillion proposal. So finally, we are getting somewhere. Now, Nancy Pelosi said the House will stay in session until a bill is agreed upon, which is great news because I think it will put some fire under both parties if they know they cannot leave until they pass a bill. That we were able to come together Democrats and Republicans to show we can agree on the toughest of issues that have been holding both sides apart. Now here is a framework, here is a roadmap, let's take it and get this done. So initially this package is worth $1.5 trillion. The package's overall price could rise to $2 trillion in early 2021 and it all depends on the continued severity of the pandemic. Now the price tag would go down $200 billion if the US economy improves. Now the plan does include $500 billion of funding for state and local governments. It includes a second round of stimulus checks. Can we just clap it up for that? Of up to $1,200 with extra credits of $500 for dependents of all ages. There's also federal unemployment benefits, which would start at $450 a week before rising up to $600 a week after two months. And there is $290 billion to support small businesses. So pretty much what they did is the PSC itemized different problems we're having, and then they itemized their solutions to these problems. So so the first problem was the COVID-19 virus is continuing to spread throughout the country. So the solution is to spend $25 billion on testing and contact tracing, $30 billion for healthcare provider support, including but not limited to telehealth expansion, $45 billion in forgiveness of Medicare loans to providers. The next problem is because of COVID-19, people are struggling to pay for food, pay for rent, other necessities, and their solution is to increase the WIC, which is the Women, Infants, and Children's Program by 15% through March 2021. They also want to increase SNAP benefits by 15% through July 2021, $1,200 direct stimulus checks, of course, $500 per child, and get this, dependent adults would get a check this time. 
which is different from the last time they did say retroactive meaning that if you didn't get a check the last time because you are a dependent adult you would get one this time and you would also get one from the last time you were supposed to have gotten one there would be rental assistance for the most needy rent stabilization programs and or eviction moratorium all the way through january of 2021 and student loan forbearance through December 31st, 2020. Now, the next problem is there have been many layoffs due to COVID-19 and people are unable to pay their bills until they can get back to work. So the solution is $450 every week for this eight week transition period. This would be followed up by the $600 a week and up to, but not to exceed, 100% of your previous wage. It would be 13 weeks from mid-October through January 2021. Now, most small businesses who did receive that PPP loan, they have exhausted their resources. Many businesses of color didn't even get an opportunity to apply for those PPP loans. Uh, those PPP loans are really a mess, but their proposal to fix this issue is $240 billion for the PPP. So the second loan is flexible use, full transparency, simplified forgiveness, uh, $95 billion in new money for banks, $17 billion for mid-sized banks, $50 billion for the targeted employee retention tax credit, and they also want to fix the main street lending program the next issue is schools reopening and keeping everyone safe so they have allocated 15 billion dollars for child care providers flexible and immediate relief 10 billion dollars for provider relief and 5 billion for the child care development block grants 100 billion dollars for k-12 through schools for virtual hybrid and or in-person learning and then 30 billion dollars for higher education institutions so of course we have already covered state and local governments will be getting assistance there will be 400 million dollars to help with the elections there will be 52 billion dollars towards broadband agriculture the u.s postal service and the census because what's interesting is a lot of people don't even have broadband access they don't have internet so with all of this online learning online working people don't have internet at home to do that so they are allocating funds for that worker and liability protections and one of the best parts i think is these automatic boosters and reducers so as the economy becomes better and we need less help then some of the benefits are going to start reducing but if we do need more help there are going to be automatic boosts, which I think is great. They should have included it before because anytime people are really struggling or the unemployment falls below a certain rate or whatever the case is, there should be automatic things that happen that help the economy come back up or move in a better direction. So I think all of this is really great. So they have presented this to the world and to the democratic congressional leaders and they said here is a proposal it's a roadmap so let's start from here and let's really get something done so that is your stimulus check and stimulus package update for today wednesday september 16th i really appreciate you all for sticking with me rocking with me through all of this it is such a journey um being a youtuber staying consistent getting the information out to you but it really is all of you in the comments who are so supportive and kind and just great that really keeps me going so thank you for that be sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time i'll catch you all in the next stimulus check and stimulus package update be safe guys bye